morning, everybody. Can you all hear me okay? Uh, well, welcome to the British Library and welcome to the Glam Week 2013 uh, conference. I'm delighted to welcome you here to the British Library today. And I hope you agree with me, it's a really, really appropriate place for you to be having this meeting. Um, it's not many of us in, in our professional lives who are lucky enough to live through what feels like a complete kind of overturning of the way that we've, we've done things. But it, it does feel to me that in terms of our, our, our ability to make uh, content available to people and give them the, the potential for new ways of researching and new ways of finding out about stuff, uh, new ways of adapting information and uh, that we really are living through one of the most kind of fundamental changes and from a professional perspective that's a real privilege for us all. Um, I I'll do a little bit of shameless uh, promotion of some of the kind of BL activities here. Um, we first, uh, as a, I, we were an organisation uh, uh, that one of our core assets has been our bibliographic data and uh, traditionally that was a commercial service which was sold and so very locked down and, and, and uh, you know, very um, you know, uh, uh, locked into particular communities for, per, for particular purposes. And so it was, it was really um, fascinating for us to kind of go through the, the cultural changes that were required to get to the stage of opening up, opening up our bibliographic data two to three years ago. And I, it felt suddenly that that was a kind of plug that came out of a, a bottle and that suddenly after that there's been this kind of flood of, it changed the cultural attitudes, it changed our thinking, it changed our whole approach, our philosophy to things that could be done with data. And I think the, the, the activities you're going to be having, what you're going to be hearing about over the next couple of days really is the, is the continuing information on that journey. Um, we've taken a very um, open approach now to a lot of I mean, we, the, the default used to be it's closed unless it's open, whereas now the default is it's open unless it has to be closed for various reasons. And so we have a very proactive um, kind of uh, policy about access and reuse of data assets. Um, we're also pleased to be able to uh, create, uh, to transform more of our physical collections into uh, digital collections to make them available to people. So I know you're going to be hearing about later, I won't say very much because you'll be hearing about from um, Phil later in the conference about the work we've done on digitising you know, unique Canadian photographs. Um, and thanks to you know, UK, uh, Wikimedia UK, Echo Centre and the Europeana for funding uh, various tranches of that work, but to make that, that, you know, that, that, that those materials available to people. We were also delighted when, um, by opening up the images in our catalogue of illuminated manuscripts, uh, you know, because our illuminated manuscripts, I suppose, are one of the most sort of, traditional bodies of material that we have. But the kind of wow factor that people clearly felt it had when all that, all those images became um, openly available for uh, for access and for reuse um, was really powerful. Um, and, uh, and the other project that we've we've done recently, which um, has also really opened our eyes to new potential, has been is a crowdsourcing of maps. Um, we 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 set up a project thinking that oh I don't know you know, 10,000 maps, it'll probably take us about, you know, I don't know, six, six to 12 months to get through this. Well, they, they, they were all, they had all been, they had all been crowdsourced, as it were, um, uh, before we actually got the press release out telling people that the stuff was out there. And so, again, within a couple of days, you know, that, that appetite showed itself. And that was an incredibly powerful driver as well for us to rethink about, right, how can we do, how can we do much more of this? And I, I, I'm assuming that from the organisations you're working in, from the work that you're doing, you know, you're all, you're all uh, also looking for as many opportunities, and for you know, you're also eagerly looking for new ways of, of opening up um, uh, cultural, academic, um, economic resources of, of, of multiple times. Um, our plans for the future are to keep doing more and more and more. Um, I won't be any more specific than that. <laughs> Um, uh, we're also really pleased to be working on a kind of BL, what's what we're calling the BL Labs project, which is working with the academic community to find out what tools we, or what, what tool sets, what, 
uh, academic community want to put on top of this data so that we're opening up potential for new and exciting types of research which in itself will create much more interesting data. So a really virtuous circle um, of, of access to information. I'm not going to say any more, I just want to wish you all the best for a very exciting meeting over the next couple of days and, uh, and I, again welcome to the British Library. Thank you very much.